All right, hello everyone. Welcome to another Librarian Let's Play. My name is Alex, and today I'll be playing a new game for the Nintendo Switch. Well, kind of new and an old game at the same time. I'll be playing uh, Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury, which just released on the Nintendo Switch probably about a week or two ago at this point, so it's fresh out the gate. So I'm excited to get started. Uh, I got to play a little bit of it, and it's a lot of fun. I never actually had the chance to play Super Mario 3D World before. I never owned a Wii U personally, so I never got a chance to actually play it. So this is my first time playing Super Mario 3D World, and Bowser's Fury is a new mode that they just added in this re-release. Uh, I'll be doing 30 minutes of both, so 30 minutes of 3D World, and then 30 minutes of the Bowser's Fury today. So feel free to skip ahead if you want to just see the Bowser's Fury part. So let's get into Super Mario 3D World. And go ahead and play a little bit. I'll be using the Super Pro Mario Controller today. All right. And this game is super interesting. It's a multiplayer game. You can play with a bunch of different people. Or, of course, you do a one-player experience. Uh, but it can be nice and chaotic with four players. Let's have a nice firework show. Beautiful Mushroom Kingdom. Always like coming here. That quality craftsmanship. <laughs> I love that they explain in pictures instead of actual words. It's so much more colorful. I love Bowser so much, dude. Bowser's so fun. Such a fun villain. There you go. Be brave, Luigi. You can do it, bud. And we're going to a whole new world. Alright. Alright, we're going to our first world right here. Start moving on the world map. Super Bell Hill. Let's go. And this game does have four different playable characters that you can use. I love the Super Bell Hill song, it's so good. So catchy and a great introduction to the game. Uh huh. In this game, uh, the big power up here is the cat bell. Oh, I missed it. There we go. Awesome. So the cat, the cat suit can help you climb up. You can attack with some cat claws. There we go. Move on over here. So it really, it really goes goes big with the cat theme and everything. You can climb with it, but you have limited climbing, you can fall down. Got this bunny. Nice. Alright. So this game's really interesting because it's kind of a blend of 3D and um, classic like 2D Mario. So it's not quite like uh, 64 Sunshine Galaxy Odyssey. It has elements of it, like in Mario's moveset, you can long jump. You got the sideways hop, you got a backflip, you got all those kind of things. But it's a little more uh, 2D instead of like the free worlds. Here. And those are, those are like uh, stamps, and you can use them to make your own pictures. And there is one per stage. And even the Goombas are rocking the uh, cat look. I like their little meows that they do. They're very cute. We'll climb up here. Right. 
There we go. It's funny, all the characters do a meow when they get their little, uh, when they finish a stage. There we go, so we got a stamp. I think the stamps look really cool. I love, like, the Mario art style that they use in this game. And green stars are what you'll collect. You can use them to find bonus levels. One of the collectibles. You can get some goodies on the world map. Alright, we'll go to an underground stage. And we'll switch characters here. Again, there are four different characters that you can play with. And they each have their own different attributes. So this kind of dates back the four different characters all the way back to Super Mario Brothers 2. It's actually the same four with uh, Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Toad. And... Mostly, mostly the same gameplay styles. Mario being the most balanced, um, Luigi having the highest jump, but he's a little slower, and he slides too, which can be dangerous. Uh, Peach being kind of slow, but she can float, which can save you when you're in danger, and Toad being the fastest, but I think he has the, sl the shortest jump. So, I don't know what else changed under that, but I feel that's a pretty decent grasp of the characters, so I'm gonna try to show each different character and hopefully show off the different strengths and weaknesses each of them have. There we go. Luigi's jump really helped me in that case. Hit the checkpoint flag. Let's get moving. I do not want that Koopa shell running back into me. I'm going to avoid it. Ha! There we go. Ooh. Got to get it before it runs out of time, otherwise it won't count. There we go. We got our second green star. We're doing good. Well, let's stay up here. This looks this looks a bit safer. I'm gonna avoid those Goombas and we'll keep on moving. There we go. Gotta get those coins. So, like in a traditional um, 2D Mario game, like New Super Mario Brothers or something. Again, you have a life system, not like Odyssey, where you can, you know keep falling off and all you lose is 10 coins. You know, this one has the regular life system. 100 coins will get you a new life. Awesome. So we got all three stars. I'm gonna go to on this level. I missed one on the last one. I feel kind of bummed about that. Yeah. You pick up Koopa shells and throw them. There we go. A nice long jump on there. Let's go, Luigi. I love the like fire flower color theme changes. I think they're I think they make everyone look really stylish. Alright, let's go to our next level. Nice. And we got five green stars. Aha! We'll go to the Toad House second, but... So this is gonna be like a battle, so it's kinda kinda like a mini boss fight. Hello. So we'll swap to Peach. Ooh, I missed that. Gotta take off the helmets of the charging chucks. Oh, they have more helmets. There we go. There we go. Lost the power up, kind of bummed about that. But, got the green star, and those will pop up. I think they're replayable, but I think you only get the green star once. So our charging Chuck, he's knocked out. Might pop up later, and you might be able to get a power up. That's kind of how it was in, uh, in Super Mario Brothers 3 specifically. You were able to beat the like, beat the enemies on the world map and get power-ups. Alright, pick a box. Its contents will help you on your way. Oh, a tough one. Small. We'll go small, we'll go small. Let's see what we get. Aha! Some goodies. Cool. Alright, we're gonna leave those there. We can only hold on to one extra power-up, so I'm gonna go with the cat bell. 
I believe that's what it's called. That's what that's what I think it's called at least. It's shaped like a bell and it turns you into a cat. It's a pretty good guess. Again, I'm not super familiar with this game, but I've been playing it a little bit. It's a lot of fun. All right, we'll swap to Toad. All right, again, Toad is the fastest. But I've got the shortest jump. He doesn't have quite the jumping skills of Mario, Luigi, or Peach. Grab that, get some extra points. Oh, see? Kind of hurt me there, and that stunk because I just wasted a power-up. Oh, we got a mushroom. There we go. Could be a little secret over here. Nice. All right, let's see what's up. Hot. This is where Toad Speed really comes in handy. Very fast. You get these coins real quick too. Ooh, but let's see. No. Ah. The speed. The speed help, but the lower jumping. Man, kind of crushed me on that. And I couldn't get the... I was trying to go for, like, a sideways jump that would have given me a little more height. Uh, we're gonna keep on moving over here. See if we can make up for that. Nice. Need that. Let's climb this tree and see what's going on up here. Uh, nothing wild. We'll keep going. And you see the Goomba's doing a little dive. I think that I have access to that little dive, too. Jump. I think you got a dash. Jump. Ooh, I... We'll try again later. <laughs> Keep messing up. I don't have the best handle on all the mechanics of this game yet. Still pretty new to it. Any secrets up here? No, but aha! I do remember this. I'm gonna... Grab the spare cat bell I had. Swipe here. Oh. Uh, I gotta go fast. No. Ah. Oh man. Okay, we'll take it slow. We'll take it slow. There we go. Latch on. There we go. Secret area. Ooh, I got worried I was gonna fall there. Superstar, let's go. Nice. One up, and there's that power star. Okay, we got one at least. Oh no, I missed. Couldn't get enough turn, but at least we hit a checkpoint. Oh. I didn't even hit the checkpoint? Wow, this is a big stage. Keep going back up. Try it all over again. Okay, let's try this green star again. If I had the cat suit, it'd be easy to climb up, but not that quite yet. Uh, let's, let's see if I can get it this time. After a little practice. Yes! Hey, I got it. Nice. Ooh, I'm happy about that one. Maybe it was worth the life lost. Already got the stamp. I think it does give you points. You're trying to go for a high score or something. Nice. I can't remember. Was there a cat bell up here? I really need power-ups. Really... Really cutting it close. Luckily, you keep the green stars, even if you lose a life. There we go. Alright, we got big piranha plants. There we go. Here's the ground pound. Nice. Alright. No way I make it to the top with Toad's jump. <laughs> All right. Ooh, got some fireworks. Like it, like it. All right, hopefully we clear world one by the time our half hour's up. There we go, we had a cat Goomba. 
let's keep going. I'll try to show as many levels as possible in the, like, 15 minutes left we have a film in this part. Cool. If you try connecting and replaying your friends, just connect online or with other Nintendo Switch systems to try multiplayer with up to four players. To begin online or local wireless play, press R or SR. So you do have access to... Let's see, that's 1-5, we'll go to 1-4. Ah, uh, we got Plessy. Ooh, gotta switch characters, gotta remember. So, you can do multiplayer online with friends. Alright, let's go. Hop on Plessy and head for the goal. Control your speed by tilting up and down on the left stick. Jump by pressing B or the down arrow there. <laughs> when playing with friends, you'll find that you can turn faster and jump higher when everyone's working together. Are you ready? Then let's get going. All right, let's go, Plessy. Let's see what we can do. Ah, we got a boost. There we go. Got one green star. Ooh, let's see if I can get up here. Nice. Oh, I missed the first red coin. It might have been what gives us another green star. We'll keep going this way. Let's try the waterfall. Aha! Oh, I thought it was a green star. It's just a one-up. Not a huge loss, even though I'm bummed I didn't get it. Oh, gotta be careful in this part. Do not want to fall down with Plessy. Oh, that's a risky star right there. No, oh, I missed a stamp! Faster than you think. Try to get as much speed as possible. Nice. Alright, we got two green stars there. Pretty decent. Thanks, Plessy. We'll see you later. I don't know if this was Plessy's debut in a Mario game or not. But you'll see a lot of Plessy here today. Ooh, I missed the long jump. That's all right, we cleared that level. All right. Got another firework. All right. Let's try the circus level down there. We are almost to our first boss. I think after we try to get our first boss done, then maybe we'll switch into Bowser's Fury mode. We got World 1-5. And up next, we got Luigi. Luigi time, as he says. Alright. I was hoping there'd be a power-up, but I guess not. We'll hit all these switches. There we go. To move on to the next part. Let's keep going. What do we get? Fire flower, that would be helpful. Ah, nice jump pad. Ah, this is where the fire flower can really shine. Ooh, that slide, that Luigi slide? Man. Aha. Secret up here. There we go. Alright. We hit our checkpoint. It's a little complicated over here. We gotta make sure to hit all the switches, so we gotta pick our strategy wisely. Nice. Excuse me, excuse me. Ooh. And we'll wait for those last two. There we go. I like the series of little challenges you have to do on this stage. Alright, let's try this red coin challenge. Nice. 
need that power up, that's nice. Ooh, need that. Oh wow. <laughs> it didn't even uh, count the time, it just was like, you got the star, you're out. <laughs> I almost ran off. Ah, Kamek. Wait for these and see if we can get that green star too. It's waiting so kindly for us. Thank you, thank you. And that's all three. We're looking cool. Yeah, I think this is the end of our level. Ooh, okay, I gotta time it right. Or I'm to Donkey Kong Country. Just like the barrels in Donkey Kong. Nice and patient. Ooh, see? You don't want to slide off with Luigi. There we go, that's where Luigi's jump is nice and helpful here. Awesome, awesome. Got all three stars. That's a good one, good job, Luigi. Now that I think about it, I think the item is actually called a Super Bell, not a Cat Bell. I think it's called a Super Bell. Ooh, okay. So we got a little bonus there. Let's go there first. Let's see how we do here. The best I got when I was playing on my own was three. You get all four, you get 777 coins. Let's give it a try. Got a bell. Ooh, almost had it. All right, all different so far, but let's see if I can match one. Okay, I matched one, so I still got still got 100 coins. It's a one-up. So even if I got a fire flower, it would have matched, or if I got a boomerang flower, it would have matched too. Right. And here we go. I like these levels a whole lot. They're Captain Toad stages. I think this was Captain Toad's premiere in a Mario game. It could have been. I think he was in Super Mario Galaxy, the second one before this, but this is where he has his own, like, game mode. Captain Toad, fearless hunter of green stars, is ready for adventure. Guide him safely through the course in his search for five green stars. Make sure to get all five in order to take them home. Move the camera with the right stick to see the course from another angle. And just so you know, Captain Toad can't jump, <laughs> so keep that in mind. And if you played Captain Toad on Switch, this is this was originally the mini game that they had in Super Mario 3D World, and then they just made a full game out of it. And Captain Toad is a really fun game. I also recommend it while I'm doing this part. It's a nice little puzzle game. It's got the slower pace so you can think. And it also has co-op, the one on Switch does. So you can take your time and think about all the different... You can work as a team. It's a great co-op game. But I think if you get... Alright, we're gonna wait. Oh wait, no, there isn't that star over there. So I think as Captain Toad, you can take two hits. So we're gonna be nice and slow, and we don't want to fall down. We got all five. <laughs> oh, I love Captain Toad. I think he's so cute. I love his little, like, explorer outfit. He's so excited and ready to go. Yeah, I think he first was in Super Mario Galaxy 2 on the Wii when that came out. And his levels also give you a lot of green stars for bonus stages. Alright. Grab an extra coin, why not? And we'll take it to the boss level. And some of the boss levels, I think, have a green star minimum. So this one, luckily we have more than 10. So we were able to get going. Let's give it a try. Yeah. See if we can help our fairy friend. All right, Hello? Princess Peach is up. 
Bowser's Highway Showdown. And the boss levels in this game are really unique. Aha! Saw a secret because of the, uh, the bounce of that fire flower. Get a little extra something. Ah. Get those green coins real quick. Nice. Ah, these Goombas are merciless. Right. Let's be careful while we're jumping. I do like playing as Peach because you have the extra insurance of the flutter jump. For those moments when it kind of gets a little too scary. Aha, okay. Let's see. I missed it. I'm trying to kick that. Not being fast enough. There we go. Awesome, there's our sticker. Oh, I can just climb up there. I was trying to flutter, like, flutter jump up there, and I could just climb. Alright. Be quick. Be swift. I don't even... I'm not even worried it's over there, because I got the green star here. Ooh, okay. Stuck the landing. I was worried about where I was. Awesome, awesome. Doing pretty good here. I don't want to speak too soon. Nice, a good kick. Alright. Alright, over here I think we got the boss fight. And the boss fights in this game are really unique. I haven't played through all the worlds yet, but really go in with the vehicle theme. Here we got Bowser. Very cool car. I think no matter how fast you run, you can't really catch up with it. So you can, you can keep running forward just to get the game going. Kick. Ah, don't want that. Not that one, look out for the fire. Ooh, look out for the Goombas. That one. Look out for the fire. What's there? Alright. I think one more. One more round. Bowser saying, bring it on. Let's see if we got it. One more hit. There we go. That car looked really expensive. Poor Bowser. <laughs> off he goes. Blasting off again. A little extra time. All 
Alright, let's take down that Bowser flag. And we'll put up the Princess Peach flag. That was World 1. We got a Bowser stamp too. I'm telling you, all these stamps look really cool. And we got all three stars, I forgot about that. <laughs> Alright, and there's our second world. So that was World 1-1, we're going to go ahead and we will exit back to the title screen and uh, I'll show you Bowser's Fury, which is the new mode exclusive to the Switch version. Go ahead and play some of that too. And I've had a lot of fun with the Bowser's Fury mode, I think it's a lot of fun, it's a different experience than the regular 3D, uh, you know, 3D world experience got the same controls, but it's a whole new game. Wait on that loading screen. But it's a lot more reminiscent of, like, the Odyssey, Galaxy, Sunshine 64 style, but with uh, gameplay of 3D World. You can kind of explore where you want and do what you want to do, and you have specific tasks, not just, like, get to the end of the stage. Another cutscene. But what's that? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> if you played Sunshine, you already know what's going on. You already know who that is. to a dark and dreary world. collectible in this world, the cat shine. our world. Now, instead of world map, you can kind of pick and choose what you want to do here. We have someone saying help in the distance. Let's go see who it is. Help! Aw, it's Bowser Jr. Again, using pictures instead of words. It looks like Bowser Jr. is in trouble. Mario, Dad is out of control. I don't know what happened. Ooh. Mario, I don't, I don't know how Mario feels. Bowser Jr. has been mean to him in the past. I tried to help him, but he's too big and mad. I can't change Dad back by myself. Mm, 
Mario's giving him a look. I never asked you for help. Never, ever. But I'll do anything to say, Papa. So, help me, Mario. Alright. Mario's determined to help on out. You've teamed up with Bowser Jr. But how much should he help you? So you can change the options here. Bowser Jr. is going to be your partner, and you can either have Bowser Jr. controlled by um, someone by your side, so you can be co-op with two players, or you can have Bowser Jr. as a computer-controlled character. So you can set him to none if you just want to play this game just Mario a little bit, so he helps out a little bit here and there, or you can have him help out a lot. And I'm going to do a lot so you can kind of see the different stuff that Bowser Jr. can do. You've asked Bowser Jr. to help a lot. To change the settings, select options in the menu. And you can change this at any time. One more thing to mention. If you share two Joy-Con controllers, a second person can play as Bowser Jr. Just select two-player mode in the menu. All right, let's go explore. Each island is different and they have their own cat shines. So you can see Bowser Jr. is doing his own thing. He'll grab coins, he'll attack enemies. Ooh, don't wanna fall. And we'll make our way to the tippy top here. Ooh, sneaky. Didn't see them around the camera. There we go, we got our cat shine. And your goal is to try to find as many of those as you can to make the lighthouses shine and kind of pierce the darkness all around our Fury Bowser. Looks like Bowser Jr. has more to say. Whoa, it's a Giga Bell. I heard a cool saying about these. I think it was, when the beast rises, the Giga Bell will ring or something. Maybe we've got to get this plotchy goop off first. Some more cat shines might do the trick. Alright, let's keep looking for cat shines. See if we can wake up that bell. So again, you can pick any order. When I played this originally, I didn't make it all the way to the top and I went somewhere else instead. And they have those little collectibles there that you can kind of get any time. So you don't have to worry about Bowser Jr. in this. He kind of has, I think he has unlimited health, so you don't have to worry about him getting hurt. Let's keep making our way to the top. Ooh, boomerangs. I got boomerangs too. There we go, thank you Bowser Jr. Very helpful. So you probably can't see because in the bottom left, like where I'm at, um, you actually have your power-up stored there. So Bowser Jr. will hold on to those for you. And you can switch between them at any time. So if there's a certain situation where you're like, I need something else, you can swap for it at any time. And you can hold up to five of each. We'll use our trusty boomerang there. Ooh, I almost jumped too early. Ooh. We got, our, I think, our third cat shine. Got our lighthouse powered up. And we'll take away some of that goop. 
and we should be able to get the Catch Eye down there. Alright, this is where the item swapping really comes in handy, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch items here. So... And don't worry, the other items get put back in your inventory, so you don't have to worry about that. So this one, we definitely need the Super Bell for. There we go. Ooh, that's shine number four. Bully the cat bully. So it kind of gives you a hint, just like an Odyssey or something like that. All right, uh, there we go. Thanks, Bowser Jr. Almost. There it is. We swapped the platform. Nice. There we go. We got our cat shine. And just in time, too. Perfect timing. Because something's on the horizon. You collected five cat shines. A message is ringing out from the Giga Bell. When the beast awakens, so shall I. Let's make our way back. There he is, Fury Bowser. And I love the design for Fury Bowser. He definitely looks, like, really scary. Let's see if we can make it back. Run across the water. And we're powering up. Power up so good that it caused a loading screen. And we power it up successfully. We are Giant Cat Mario? <laughs> I don't know the official name. Push me away. Avoid the shockwave. Nice. Ooh. Just gonna try them. I'm just regular Super Mario. I don't want to get hit one more time. Jump just in time! Because you're giant, your movement's a whole lot different than as regular Mario. Avoid the shockwave! And ground pound. As we knock Fury Bowser all the way back. Oh, I catch it, Rainbow. That's a nice touch. <laughs> this game mode is a whole lot of fun. I like the blending of, you know, like Odyssey's design with like 3D World's controls. And after that first boss fight, you get a whole different world. Our friend Plussy's here, giving us a friendly wave. Thanks, Plussy. It's nice to see you too. Looks like Bowser Jr. has more to say. He sank back into the lake, but trust me, it'll take more than that to beat my papa. We need to make him really see the light. The way to do that is to find more cat shines. More of that splotchy stuff went away, so there must be new islands to explore. Let's check the map and get going. Hurry up, Mario! 
And you do have access to a map at all times, so you can look and find all the different landmarks and all the different changes. Looks like Bowser Jr. has more to say. Oh yeah, I almost forgot something important. If you get lost, just press minus or plus to bring up the map. What's up, Plessy? Alright, let's go for a swim. Let's see what else we can explore in these, like, 10 minutes we have left. 10, maybe 15 minutes. Ooh, turn. Plus, he's really big, so those Goombas didn't stand a chance, really. Uh, let's go ahead and use the power up. I got a lot of boomerangs, so I just want to make sure to be powered up at all times. Ooh, we got a battle. Perfect timing. Ooh, I completely missed that Goomba. I was focusing on the Piranha Plant. We got our Cat Shine. Cold Cove Combat. Let's go ahead and just make sure we're powered up. Nice to be safe. Alright, Plessy, on to the next island. Sometimes it's just fun to kind of get lost in this world. You never know where you're going to end up. Ah. The Ruins Giga Bell. 15 Cat Shines to Awaken. And we're at 6. I don't know if we're going to have enough time today to get the second one, but let's see how many of these new islands we can explore. Yeah! Clash with Cat Boom Boom. Aha, uh -huh. there's the secret down there. Aha, uh -huh, there's Cat Boom Boom. Luckily we got our boomerang, that's gonna be real helpful. And Bowser Jr. is being a good help as well. Oh, turned invisible. You can kind of see a faint outline. But the shell turns invisible too, that means we gotta be careful. But Bowser Jr. is kind of where he's at, so I'm gonna use that as a guide. There we go. Another lighthouse. Yeah, it's all lit up. There's some of the goop goes bye-bye. For a new island. And, and in this mode, um, it's not lives, like, uh, in regular 3D world. Uh, I think when you get 100 coins, you get a random power-up. Alright, let's see if we can catch, catch this rabbit right here. So close! Oh, I got bumped. Closing in. Yes. The ruins rabbit plays tag. Aha, I see. It. Another cat shine over there. Let's go over this way. Better Plessy, thanks for the ride. All right. These islands are moving across. We don't want to slide off, it's icy. So it gets very slick. We'll slowly make our way over there. There we go. Go with the flow. 
Summer 9. We're looking great. Let's go back in that direction, huh? Plus, he kind of follows us to give us a ride. Very helpful. Thank you, Plusy. Because Mario swims pretty slowly in this mode. So it's nice that you're able to get some help from Plusy. Who is eager to help. But thank you so much, Plusy. Alright. Let's hit the switch and see what challenge is going to happen. We got some snow pokies, and we got some, uh... Got some cheap cheap. Oh. Bowser Jr. being really helpful over here. Nice. This boomerang costume is saying dividends. And there's our cat shine. Very icy. I like that they do the... Whenever the characters jump in this game and they're on ice and they're going somewhat fast, they kind of do like a like an axle jump, like an ice skating. Just a little extra touch. Give the game a little more flair. Ow. <laughs> ah. Crisp Climb Castle. Make the lighthouse shine. Gonna need the cat suit. Use our super bell. And we'll start the climbing. You can climb away, but not, not that far. Ah, oh, Bowser Jr. found an item. I don't know where, but it popped up. <laughs> oh no, I think it's because we got 100 coins. Alright. Ah, uh, here we go. We got the propeller hat, which, I gotta say, I love the propeller hat in these games. I think the propeller is so much fun. I love being able to fly up high and just glide slowly down. And we got a little cat piece over there. So it's only a piece of the cat shine, so you need all five so you can actually get a real cat shine. But you can collect those at any time, so we're just gonna keep moving and try to get big cat shines. Ah, that pipe takes us back down. We don't want to do that. We want to go on to the next place. Slowly, slowly, slowly. There we go. Okay. I was worried I was going to miss. Couldn't see myself where the camera was at, so let's play it safe. No! I'm gonna s I still have my outfit under there, so I'm still using uh, my cat claws to climb. And we don't want to do that just yet. Thank you, Bowser Jr., being really helpful. <laughs> I was wondering if I would get anything special for knocking down all the enemies. Missed the jump. It's okay. Keep moving our way up. Can't wear two of these at once, but it's good to have a backup plan. Right. Spin all the way around there. Oh wow, I, 
I thought I had it. You gotta look for the shadow to kind of give you that idea where you're at. Let's just bypass here entirely. Uh-oh, the rain's starting again. Alright. Make the lighthouse shine. Make some more goop go away. And there in the distance is Fury Bowser. Let's get out of here and see where we can go next. So Fury Bowser will pop up periodically, like every five to ten minutes. And just rain fury upon wherever you're at. And there are some secrets that can only be found in Fury Bowser mode. I don't think I'm by any of them right now to show them off. Oh boy. Lost the propeller hat? Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see. Let's see, I'm right here. Let's see, right here. I'll take the damage. I'll take the damage. There, that was the secret. I'm glad it worked out. I didn't actually know that was there. I didn't get that one in the other playthrough. There are Bowser blocks, which can only be destroyed by Bowser fire. I didn't think I'd actually get a chance to show it off. And if you do get a shine during the segment where Fury Bowser's out, then the lighthouse will shine light and do some damage to him, too. And kind of send him off. And I think the damage is, like, permanent for the next boss battle up to a certain point. But I'm not entirely sure on that. Right. Got a little more time. Let's see if we can get maybe one or two more shines. I don't think we're going to have time to do uh, the next boss battle. All right, we got a plusy. We got a plusy level. If you played Odyssey, this reminds me of doing the motorcycle, which could be a lot of fun and also kind of stressful. Trying to make sure you hit those jumps perfectly. Yes. Don't miss. Don't want to miss. Hurry, slide through the sky. And jumping has a whole different meaning when you're jumping with big old Plessy instead of Mario. Let's see if we can find one more star. One more cat shine, I mean. Oh, we got another Plessy stage right here. Oh, very, very nice coincidence. Alright, let's see if we can do this one. Long path. Let's see if we can do it. And we only got 20 seconds. Make good use of the boosts. Make sure we hit the turn. Don't miss, don't miss. Yes. Hurry, swim, and slide. Not the most unique names, but give you a sense of what you're doing. What is this? Shadow Luigi. We're gonna need an item for this. There we go. I catch up. Bowser Jr. is also a really big help with this. Nice. Nice, and there's another shine. So this was an old island, but it got a new cat shine once uh, I, beat, I beat that first Bowser boss fight. There's a little extra that we got. Our, you collected 15 cat shines. Message is ringing out from the Giga Bell. When the beast awakens, so shall I. All right, let's see if we can get one more Bowser boss fight in before we're done. I'm gonna pull up the map. See where we gotta go. 
All the way over there, we're really far away. But luckily, Plessy's helping out. I'm telling you, Plessy is, like, so helpful in this mode. So where am I going? There it is. It's good to have a map in this mode, too. World's pretty big. the Ruins Giga Bell. So I can't really do anything until Fury Bowser awakens. So we're just gonna chill. We're just gonna chill around here but not try to go too far away. Here we'll try to find some power-ups in the meantime. Aha! Okay, so this part, uh, you can send Bowser Jr. to investigate mystery spots. You gotta try to aim with the controller, so I'm gonna try to aim with the pro controller. You see the little Bowser Jr. icon? I'm gonna hit R. There we go. Use his paint powers. We got another boomerang. Aha. There it is, there's a good use of time. It's almost time. Nice and patient. And there's some more Bowser blocks over there. And we'll try to get the second boss fight. He's ready. Let's see if we're ready too. There it is, 15 shines, shining their lights, and our Giga Bell, and we're ready to power up. Uh, Bowser Jr. is so scared. I feel bad for him. I like that you're teaming up with Bowser Jr. in this. I like Bowser Jr. a lot. I think he's so cute. Even though he's a little villain, he's really dedicated to being a good son in his own way. <laughs> All right, we're powered up. And there's Fury Bowser again with that little bit of extra damage that we did with the lighthouse. He's got some new moves. And it's weird because the whole, like, everyone's so big. It's like the whole island is the arena. Wow, I, I gotta get away from the sludge. Makes you move slower. Yeah, like the whole world is your like arena in this. You're humongous. You can do a little damage with cat claws. He spins around so much, it's tough to keep track of him with the camera. You get real spooky at times. It's one of the most underrated skills of being good at Mario games, is being able to use the camera effectively. Jump! Okay, good. Ah, uh, oh, there it is. This is our chance to do some real good damage. Avoid the shockwave. There we go. We got a good hit in. Definitely gotta move out of there. Don't want to get hit with the stomp. Ooh, oh no. I don't know how many hits we can take in this. I think it might be just one more. So we gotta be like really careful. I haven't even gotten him to half health yet. Can I get the cat bell again? 
Oh, I didn't actually know that. <laughs> that was just a guess. Oh, he was aiming high. I didn't know we could get another cat bell. That's wild. I was just I was just hoping for the best. <laughs> Honestly. There we go. Another good hit. I think I might be able to hit his underbelly there, but I don't feel really confident. I'm just going to keep with avoiding. No, no, no. Okay, good. I'm telling you, it... You feel so much heavier, like, your controls as your, like, Giga Cat Mario. I'm ready. See if we can get some hits in. Nice. Okay. Even though we didn't get him all the way down, we won our second boss fight. And just in time, too. We've gone a little over an hour. Plus this finishing cutscene. Let's see what else pops up. This is about as far as I've made out my playthrough, too. It's really fun. This is a really fun game mode. Aw, oh, look at the 2D plus here right there. Very cute. I like the 2D sprites of all the new characters. Looks like Bowser Jr. has more to say. Arg, I can't believe he ran away again. I mean, um, Dad's the best at everything. Of course he knows when it's time to retreat. <laughs> Mario not giving him, <laughs> not giving him a lot of confidence in that. This Giga Bell is all splotchy again. We need more cat shines. Maybe we'll find some hiding on the islands we've already visited. Let's go find out. I would, but that has been our playthrough of Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury. Uh, again, fresh video game. It just came out this month in February. Um, it's a lot of fun. I've been having a lot of fun playing it. And if you're interested, make sure to put a hold on it at the library. I'm sure it's going to be really, really popular. But thank you so much for watching. We'll see you with another library and Let's Play in the future. If you ever got any recommendation for games, feel free to leave a comment on our Facebook page. And hopefully we'll see you for our next library and Let's Play. Um, this has been Alex. It's been a lot of fun playing this game for you. We'll see you around next time. Bye.